Hello, I'm Dr. Aaron Dishno, uh, the inventor of Walk the Web 3D Browsing. And in this next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to merge shapes, which is also about cutting out one shape out of another. Now, before I begin that, let me just talk about the theory behind this. First of all, there's two ways to create, let's say, a door inside of a wall. The first way is I could have just left the opening where you walk through. For example, I have one wall on one side, another wall on the other side, and then a piece of a wall across the top. But when you think about it with the past lessons, not only would you have to create those separate segments of wall and line them up and be careful about surfaces in common, but you'd also have to adjust the textures on the surfaces to scale them and try to align them. And by the time you get done, that's a lot of work. So there's an easier way to do this. I can take one piece of wall and actually cut another shape, like a rectangle, out of that wall, leaving an open space. And that only took two pieces of wall opposed to three different shapes to do it. So let's begin. Let's go back to our building and now we're going to be editing again. Go the, this is at 3d.walktheweb.com. Uh, first of all, load your building if you haven't already. And notice I'm standing in front of the front wall of my building. And I'm going to get somewhere near the center. If you go to Edit 3D Building and then click on Add 3D Building Block, just like we did when we created the walls themselves. So now I'm going to add a box. Now I'm going to move the box so that it sits in, intersects the wall. So I wanted at negative 48 was the center of the wall before, or 49, sorry. And then I'm going to set that at zero for width. And from our scaling lesson, we learned that if we want to make a door that's customary normal size, we usually want to make it 16 high, which would be an eight foot door, and eight wide, eight units wide, which is going to be a four foot wide door. So let's do that. I'm going to cut it down to eight wide. And okay, fine. Eight wide and 16 high. And also, we're going to want to move that down to the ground level here. Um, notice that it also intersects where the ground hits the cement below the door. So I'm going to move it up a little ways just so that it is actually above the cement slab. And then we get very close to an 8-foot door. Now notice if I set that, since it's a 16 door, if I set this to 8.50, what's going to happen is you're going to have a shared surface right on the bottom of the door that was the leftover remnants of the wall uh, plane and you're going to have that flickering up against the cement. So what I want to do is I want to make it at 0.45, which is that 0 0.05 down, lowered just to intersect and make sure that it cuts away everything that's actually going to be underneath the door. So with those measurements in place, I now have this box. The next step is show advanced options. In this section, there's one section in particular, merge shapes. Now the theory behind this is I'm making this piece that I'm working on right now merge with something else that already exists. So this would always happen with the second piece you're working on. I can take this and I can select subtract from another object. Now that it knows it's going to subtract, all I have to do is pick shape to merge. And when I click that button, now I want to highlight the wall that I'm going to merge it with. And when I left mouse click that, it selects it and cuts it out of the wall. Notice that in the left hand panel it says merge with and then it says box and if you want to remove it and try again you can click the link for remove next to it and it'll it'll erase that it's being cut out of there. Um, you can also pick a new shape you can remove it and then pick a new shape if you missed the right one the first time. And when we're done with that, we can just click Save. Another feature before I do is we can also notice that if I change the shape or moving of the box now, it will redraw it on the screen. And we'll end up being able to make adjustments to our wall if we needed to. Okay. So now I'm going to save that box. And now we have a cutout place for a door. So I'm going to repeat that same step, and I'm going to create a window on this, the right side of the door. 
add 3D building block, add a box. Then I want to move the box so that oh, it's around the center of the wall. And move it down a little bit. Okay, around there, looks pretty good. And now I'm going to make it extra wide. So I'm going to take the Z value, I'm going to make that 20. And now repeating the last steps, we're going to merge that with the wall behind it. Subtract from another shape. And now pick shape to merge highlight the back wall, click it, and it is now cut out the window of the of the wall. Now something else, also you can save that box to complete it. Notice my door disappeared temporarily. This is just something in the editor that um, I'll fix in a future release, but what happens is it only remembers at that moment the last thing you cut out, so I'll make it regenerate the others. For now, if you just go up to your URL and refresh that page, you'll get the box, um, you'll get your building back and both objects will be cut out. So if anything goes wrong or if it's not rendering correct or if it doesn't refresh, all you have to do is refresh the page and you'll get, you'll get everything as it shows. Because it didn't record all the data that it needed to cut out those objects into the database. Okay, so now we have a door and a window. And uh, in the next lesson, what I'm going to teach you is there's some settings where notice that if I want to change that door or window now, the box isn't there. I have nothing I can right click on and select. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you the editor settings where we can go in and tell it to show the box so that I can grab it again and make adjustments to it. So thank you for watching the tutorial on how to cut out shapes one from another. And uh, if you'd like to see this or any more tutorials, please see www.walktheweb.com. Thank you very much.